All right, gonna make it easy for you again. As it relates to batteries, all the person would call and ask, yo, how much battery do you need for run, you know, these appliances through the night? What you're going to do is you're going to think about your batteries like a water tank. So your water tank will be X gallons or liters. And you want to, uh, to use some of the water from the water tank to the washing machine. You know, you're displacing some of the water from the tank, putting it into the machine. Same concept with your battery. Your battery store energy. So what you're going to be doing is moving some of the energy from the battery to your appliance, right? And it's based on how long you have that appliance running. So your battery is in watt hours or kilowatt hours. And your device will use, for example, your TV will use 103 watts. How long are you running that TV for, say, six hours? So it will be 103 watts times six hours you'll get the watt hours that's the amount of energy it's going to be using up from the battery so what you will do is go through your house and everything that you are running in the night that will be using power in the night you're gonna you're gonna document those so for example you're using your tv in the night you're using your refrigerator uh if you're using your iron at night if you're using your microwave you go through and document all those, how much watts, right? On some devices, you will see watts. On some, you may see KW kilowatts. On some, you may see nothing at all. You might see V beside a number, and you see A beside a number. That's a voltage, and that's a current. You're going to use those two numbers, multiply them by each other, and you will get the watts. And I'm talking to the persons who, you know, have no clue about electrical or solar. I'm not talking to the expert. So you go through... You document all the appliances that you have running in the night or especially in, you know, in the times of no sun power. And uh, those are your appliances that you're using on a regular. So you make a note of the watts on those and the hours, how long you're going to run them for. So, for example, you have a television and it uses 103 watts and you are running that TV for, say, six hours. That's 618, 620 watt hours, right? You have uh, iron, it uses 1200 watts, uh, iron at night, and you, you know, you're running that iron for two hours. That's 2400 watt hours, right? You also have a refrigerator that uses 230 watts, and you have that refrigerator plugged in for 15 hours. That's about 3,750, 3,800 watt hours. You have your AC unit that uses 950 watts and you have the AC on for four hours. You have another TV, 103 watts, and you have it in for another four uh, hours. What you're going to do, you're going to add up all of those watt hours and see so you get you know, 12,000 whatever. Get into the mat. You get 12,000 whatever watt hours or 12 point whatever kilowatt hours. Now you're going to take that figure and say, all right, cool. I use all these appliances in the night. This is the amount of energy I'll need. All right. In terms of battery storage, then I will need about 15 kilowatt hours or 15,000 watt hours in battery storage. So now you can go and say, all right, let me put in three, five kilowatt hour batteries. You can even go further and say, all right, I want excess. So let me put in two 10 kilowatt hour battery pack for 20,000 watt hour, 20 kilowatt hour in battery storage. So that's a quick way you can, you can, you know, do a, a calculation to find out how much in terms of storage you're going to need, especially right throughout the night. Take a list or make a list of all the appliances that you have running in the night and the length of time how many hours you'll have them running for